so good morning, my name's Scott Arthur, I'm the councillor. Start again, it's quite noisy. Good morning, my name's Scott Arthur, I'm the councillor for Collington, Oxcans and Fairmile Head. Uh, I'm on Buxton Terrace this morning, just uh, north of Buxton Shops, uh, because yesterday the, the buses were completely overloaded uh, with kids and others heading into town. So I spoke to loading buses about this yesterday, so I've just came down this morning to see if things have improved. <laughs> it's a bit dark, but I'm hopeful it'll get uh, lighter soon. Let's see what happens. I don't know how well you saw that, but the, the, the bus certainly stopped, I'm sure you've seen that. But the driver, obviously trying his best, could only take on a couple of the kids and go ahead into Boromir. And a few more have been left to wait for the next bus, which should come in just a few minutes. So let's hope there's space on that bus for them. just went right past, completely full, so the kids there uh, waiting to get to school are, are, there's a reasonable chance they might be late for school now. Uh, I have shown up that there's uh, one more bus due any second now, and a second coming in 13 minutes, so if these kids can get on that bus that's due, they should get to school in time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. So what I'm going to do now, as I'm working the cycle helmet on now, because all the, all the time I've been making this video, the traffic's been queuing up to Green Van Junction, and it's been stopping the buses getting into the, the bus lane. So the number 11 bus that just went past is now sitting in traffic waiting to get in the bus lane. So I'm going to cycle down, and we'll see if there's a cause of this, or if it's just the, the weight of traffic combined with the spaces for people's scheme. And who knows that second, well here comes the, num the second number 11 bus now.
it looks like everyone's got on, which is uh, which is which is good news, a good news story. Uh, so it's now about 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes until the the school uh, starts. So let's go and see if the backup of traffic on Commerston Road is going to slow those buses down that we've just seen. Okay, I'll just move this camera onto my bike, which will just take a second. So you can, you can see that the traffic is uh, well and truly queued up and right through making this video there's been quite a few cars like this one just turning into Cummerston View to do a bit of rat running uh, not, saying it, not being accused today there been doing a bit of rat running to, uh, to avoid the queuing traffic let's go and see if we can catch up with those buses So you can see there, it's really just the, the way of traffic uh, combined with the Spaces for People scheme that's stopping the buses from accessing the bus lane and that's meaning that those kids aren't going to get to school in time. So there's three number 11 buses here, two are, two are waiting to get in the lane and one's just got on it. So you're probably talking about, you know, well over 200 people, uh, a lot of them kids just try to get to school. Uh, it's now about... Uh, 10 or 15 minutes until the school day starts uh, so it's looking like at least some of those kids might be late for school hopefully not uh, hopefully not of course the, the, the council does hope to address this by extending the bus lane uh, long overdue in my opinion this has been going on for uh, well over a year now uh, we need to get this fixed as soon as possible uh, I'll just ride the bike down to Green Bank now and then I'll switch the camera off then and head home for my breakfast bye for now It's quieter than on the main road. We're now almost home in uh, Buxton. So this has been quite an interesting morning because I started off making the video to look at the you know the overloading of loading buses. And just to be clear, the, the, the pressure that loading buses face right now is just driver availability. There's a shortage of drivers generally and also quite a few of their staff are dying with COVID, so they've had to reduce their service. And that does have some consequences and I completely support the staff and, and moving buses. They're doing a great job trying to get through this mess. Um, but really, so, so that's obviously impacting on all these kids trying to get down to Borromeo High School. And with prelim com coming up, prelims coming up, you know, it's, it's only understandable that they're quite stressed about that. But you can see that certainly on this road, just a big an issue is the, the way that the, the buses are being blocked for renting in the bus lane. So as I was putting my camera on the bike there, you, you might not have noticed, but I, I think another number of 11 bus went past. So at one point we had four number of 11 buses uh, queuing up just to get in the bus lane. Uh, two of them were the 100 seaters, 
and goodness knows what the, the other buses hold. So you're probably talking about you know 300 people, a lot of them kids just trying to get to school, but others would be people trying to get to work, uh, held up just for the sake of you know, being able to get into that bus lane. So really the, the, the council needs to get this bus lane situation sorted out as soon as possible. They've got plans to extend it uh, and I think we'll have to make that happen as, as soon as. And you know, try to help people just get to where they want to be in the bus in the morning. Okay, uh, run over and uh, breakfast time. Take care.